Hey, good morning dudes. Today we are out at the range. We are going to be shooting at this Zildjian K Dark Medium Ride. Now, let me give you a quick disclaimer. Uh, I am a drummer for about 20 years and these are beautiful ride cymbals. I would never be doing something like this had I not cracked it a few weeks ago while practicing with my band. And I almost wanted to cry. These cymbals are absolutely amazing. I've had, I kid you not, 30 ride cymbals uh, over the years and this is the one that I would choose out of all of them for just an all-around go-to no matter what you want to play ride cymbal. Uh, if you're thinking about one of these they are absolutely wonderful. Buy it sight unseen and you're gonna love it. Uh, this is like all of Zildjian's professional cymbals uh, made of a bronze that is 80% copper, 20% tin has some traces of silver in it also. Zildjian calls this a medium symbol. Uh, it is definitely medium, uh, in my opinion, probably on the heavier side of medium. Uh, I don't know whether the calibers I'm going to be shooting at it today are going to get through the, uh, the bronze or not. I am assuming all of them will go clean through it. Uh, so let me take a quick look at what we're going to be shooting today. Today we have three different calibers. How do I get this thing to zoom out? I am not the greatest cameraman. I have a cheap little camera I'm using. Uh, using three calibers today. <clears throat> see if I can get this to zoom out. I can't. Uh, I have the 1911. This is a Springfield Model A1 loaded. Uh, chambered, of course, in the 45 ACP, 45 Auto. Uh, I have the 6-hour P229. Uh, that is a 9mm which is right there, and I have the Smith & Wesson, that is the 686 Plus, uh, it is the 7-shot seven, uh, seven version of a regular 686 chambered in the 357 Magnum. Now, I expect all of them to go through, obviously I expect the 357 Magnum to go through easier than the 9mm or the 45. Uh, 45 may just crack the thing in half, I have no idea. I've never shot at a symbol before. I've never seen anybody shoot at a symbol before, so I don't know how this is going to go. It should be interesting to both gun and drum guys. I'm hoping. That's why I'm doing the video. So uh, I'll go ahead and stop the video now, and the next time you see the video pick up, it will be a 9mm shooting at it. Uh, we'll go from there to the 45, and uh, we'll go from there to the 357. Okay, weapon is clear, range is clear. <laughs> well, that was the 9mm. Uh, it got it right on the bell there, and it went right through. I mean, do not pass go or collect $200. That, uh, that went clean through. So, next up is the, what was I going to do next, the 45 ACP. By the way, I'm using the uh, Hornaday Critical Defense ammo, their uh, jacketed hollow points, for all of this. I thought I would uh, not only give that a run to see if it will get through metal, but also uh, use the same ammo for the test. So, next up is the 45. I, <laughs> from seeing the 9mm there, I think the 45 is just going to make a bigger hole, but we'll see. Okay, weapon is clear, range is clear. Uh, yeah, about the same size hole. You can see that it, it has more punch to it. I don't know if you can see it on the video, but the, the edges of the hole are kind of bowed in as the, as the bullet went through. And I, I think the 9mm too, being right on that bell, uh, kind of did hit more surface area than the, uh, than, than the 45 did. Uh, trying to purposely, you know, aim a, a few different places on the symbol here so we don't 
don't get the exact same result. Let me actually rotate it a little bit and kind of kind of go like that. Uh, next up, the 357 Magnum. Okay. Weapon is clear, range is clear. Three fifty seven Magnum, you know, I really can't tell the difference between any of these holes. Uh, with the exception of the 45, which does have a little bit more, you know, you can tell it's that big, heavy, uh, I think the Hornaday is the 185 grain, uh, so considerably heavier than the 9mm, which is 115, I believe the 357 Magnum is a, a 125 uh, going through it. Obviously the Magnum is moving the fastest. Uh, I really can't tell the difference between any three of these holes uh, looking at the back side you can tell the 45 punched through a little bit more I am extremely stoked that I didn't hit my stand especially this DW whatever they call these things uh, they, they work really well however don't try to tour with them because rolling around in a hardware bag they're just gonna break uh, hear that DW make that out of metal but I really can't tell a difference. One, one thing that you can say, okay, if you're ever in a club gigging and armed bad guys break in, you are not going to be able to hide behind a symbol and be safe. So uh, having said that, be safe, everybody. Keep on drumming. Keep on shooting. I'll see you next time.